Hello, and on this fine day, we are entering the Japanese Garden at the Tillman Water Reclamation Plant at 6100 Woodley Avenue, Van Nuys, California. Okay, upon entering, we come to the Dry Gardens. Okay, here in the dry gardens, this grassy knoll, they call this Tortoise Island, the symbol of longevity. Head over to the water gardens. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be a lot harder, uh, hotter. Yeah, this is gonna, uh, I think the hike today is maybe cool. Peace. <laughs> And everybody says, what did I say? What did I say? <laughs> Alright, well, we had a conversation with the security guard. He was filling me in on some of the sites. The snow garden lantern, um, that was the wrong one. That was just a lantern, so we'll get the snow lantern in a moment. This isn't lined up right, otherwise uh, it would be operating. In the past, I'd seen frogs jumping around in here, but not today. He said there's koi fish in the uh, waters and that the waters are all connected, although I see a screen down here. I don't know how they get through that screen. Up and over that little bridge. I'm gonna go over to the right here. That's where the snow lantern actually is. Oh, great trim. I like that tree. Here it is. The guard told me this is the snow lantern. It's shaped this way so that the snow will easily fall off of it. And it looks like we got a, a bird. It looks like he's trying to sing over here. See, he's flapping his uh, Adam's apple there. I think the rest of his group is over here on the other side. Yep, there they are. All right, no music, but. All right. We got some ducks here cleaning their feathers. Getting ready for a swim or taking off. Alright, we're going to head over to the boat landing. These aren't actually in the order that are on the pamphlet, but, well, we'll do the best we can. Oh, look, here they are again.
All right, over to the boat landing. We got a boat landing yet, no boats. Not sure what that's about. Ooh. Got bird landing though. Great deal of wildlife out here. Ooh, they're feeding. There, let's see the one eating fish. Well, I can't eat raw fish. It's gross. Didn't come up. Okay, hey, where's the one that went down for the fish? Yeah, guess he missed. Came up with nothing. Head over to the floating bridge. I think it's this way. First, we'll stop for some of these carps. There's some dark ones here. I don't know if you can see him swimming, but there's an orange one way over there. There he is. All right, I found the floating bridge. There she is, right there, floating. Floating on stone. And a bridge usually allows you to walk across it. I don't see where you can walk across this. Alright, as we move forward we go to, and if I'm pronouncing this correctly, the Schoen building. Let's take a look at the view that you would get. Very 
Okay, here's a more full-size shot of the Schoen building. That's S-H-O-I-N. Adjoins the tea house, which I believe is the item to the left. This building was the residential dwelling developed for aristocrats, upper class, monks, and samurai during the 14th and 15th centuries. In a minute, we'll go inside and take a look at the interior to see how they enjoyed it. Wow, oh, even the steps look hot. Grassy moss to lead into the stairs. Going inside right now. Alright, coming away from the tea room. Ooh, could that be a wet bar? Let's check it out. Oh, no beer, vodka, whiskey, not even sake. Ah, I'm out of here. Alright, now what is this? I don't understand what these are. Well, whatever it is, this is the other side of it. Not sure what it's for. Maybe it's a garbage disposal chute. Alright, coming out of the Shoin building. This would be the main gate also represents the aristocrats residence okay leaving here going off to the arbor overlooking the lake that would be this building coming up all right here are the steps stone steps leading up to the arbor which overlooks the lake. A bit of the roof here. see what it overlooks. Claims to be looking over the lake. Ah, oh, there. You can see peeking out back there right there in the middle of the screen is the three level waterfall which we're coming up on next
All right, let's head there now. I like the stone placed up there in between all the plant life. Makes it look more natural. All right, Sudzy. I often wondered where all that stuff comes from. People putting laundry detergent in these. Well, we're going to head on this bridge so we can get a better look at it. Well, I see four tiers, but it says the three levels of waterfall represent heaven, man, and earth. Okay, as we leave the three-tier waterfall, we're going to look for Crane Island. Not sure which way to go. I'll go this way. Right there. Let's walk around and get it from the other angle. Alright. Okay, this is the symbol of longevity and good fortune. I wonder if you have to rub it. Yeah, we got a whole school of fish here. Hopefully you can see them. I'm going to try to sneak up on them and try to get them in the shot. Hopefully they're not camera shy. Yeah, they are. A bunch of them. Coming off of the Crane Island, going back, you can see there's many trails that bring you through this place, so we're going to miss quite a bit of stuff. However, we're walking over to the Zigzag Bridge. This is where Oh, hey, this bridge is one you can walk on. Let's see. Um, I don't think I have anything that's breakable except for the camera. Ooh, look at all the fish out there. Oh, what a life. All right, zigzag bridge. More fish. Like duh. Ooh, dragonfly, did you catch that? Finishing off on the zigzag bridge. Oh, jump. Walked up on them too quickly. Dragonflies. Yeah, it's no wonder where this got its name. However, the brochure. The Tale of Isle, which contains a description of a beautiful site at which a marsh covered with irises is traversed by a zigzag bridge. Yay!
Next, we're coming up on the weeping willow tree. The weeping willow tree is symbolic of the female persona. Kind, loving, and bending with the situation. So the pamphlet says. Alright, gonna get a third last look. Dr. Kawana created this garden to express the essence of nature and to afford the public a peaceful and tranquil environment as an oasis to which they can escape from a busy and often chaotic contemporary scene. And as you can see, there haven't been too many people. And the reason for that is they're not open on the weekends. This is being done on a Monday, if I'm not mistaken. I lose track of time quite a bit. They're only open, I believe, Monday through Friday. All right, this is the administration building of the Donald C. Tillman Water Reclamation Plant. It has received many architecture awards. In a little bit, we'll go down and look at the front. All right, I found another way in to get a good front view of this building. This is the uh, ground floor. I'm gonna walk through the building. Another moving video. There's actually something pretty on it, but you can't see it with the glare. off this edge here. Oh, water. All right, we're coming outside. Normally these fountains would work, but the guard tells me it's during events. The only time you're gonna see it right now is to watch Star Trek. I remember there was an episode where all of these waterfalls and water fountains were all working. I just don't remember the episode at the moment, but I'll try to look that up since I do have the DVDs. Ah, this is kind of fun. We've got a staircasing that goes down where you're level with the water. Now here's that front, the front of that building. I was hoping to get further away, but I'd have to walk around the entire complex. I know most of you have seen this on Star Trek. I keep mentioning that, but hey, it's a fact. Alright, well, we're leaving the Japanese garden as I almost trip. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you'll subscribe. And if you liked this video, hit that like button. See you in the next video. How cool is this? They gave me free of charge the calendar of course it's 2019 and the year is almost over anyway here is September here's the picture for September all right that's one of the uh, bridges I think I missed that bridge though oh yeah I was talking to the security guard at that time I guess that's why these were free. I didn't realize that these are 2019 and the year is just about up. <laughs> anyway, it was nice of them anyway. Still gonna work. Love it. <laughs>